Hello, Cientificos. Happy Monday. How was your weekend? Buenísimo. Great. Did any of you see any interesting living things in your neighborhood? Wow. Some of you saw raccoons, coyotes, and pigeons. Those sound like animals we can find in many parts of San Francisco. Did anybody see any interesting plants? Muy bien. Some of you noticed that there is more green all around us. That's probably because spring is on its way. It starts in March, but I can already feel some changes around us. And you know what else I noticed? <laughs> of course you don't. Well, I've been noticing more butterflies around me. Have any of you noticed more butterflies as well? Oh, awesome. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Whenever I see butterflies, I see them by plants. And you know, scientists, I'm not really sure what a butterfly is. I mean, is it an animal or a plant? And where do they come from? I think it's an animal, but it doesn't really look or seem like other animals. And I always see butterflies around plants. So I mean, could they be plants? I'm not really sure about the científicos. Hmm. Maybe the things we learned last week can help us out. I remember we learned about living things and non-living things. Uh, let me reread some notes. Oh. OK, I know something is living when I can observe it breathe, change, grow, eat, and drink. OK, well, that confirms what I already knew. Butterflies are a living thing. But that doesn't quite help me figure out whether butterfly is an animal or a plant. Maybe I need to think of another question that will help guide me. Let me brainstorm. OK, I can compare how animals and plants look to see what it, oh, wait. Some butterflies have pretty colors, like flowers. So that, oh, well, yeah, that might be too challenging. Uh, maybe I can compare what they eat. Yeah, I, I agree. That sounds like something I could compare. Ooh, I can also compare how they grow. That could help. You know, all of these things have a theme. These are all sounding like things that living things need and do. Se me ocurrió, it's come to me. The question that can help me figure this out is, what do plants and animals need to live? What do you think? It doesn't really make sense? All right, <laughs> let me explain a bit more. If we figure out what plants and animals each need in order to live, and then compare a butterfly to each of those things, we should be able to determine which one it is. Does that make more sense? Great. Since we have a question, and want to explore and learn a new concept, what do you think we should take out? Yes, we should take out our scientific notebooks and some writing tools. Go ahead and get yours while I make sure I have everything as well. I need something to write with. OK. All right. So bueno, I think I'm ready. Let's start with today's date, the page number, and a title. Oh. You're right, I haven't thought of one. Hmm, maybe plant and animal needs? I think that'll work. I had the question read out ahead of time so that we can add that onto our entry. But let me review all of that. We're going to write the date, page number, title, and question. Yikes, that's a lot of things. But I know my Cientificos can handle it. Plus, I'll be writing it with you. Vamos. So I'm going to put my question, but I need to make sure to leave space for my date, my title, and page number. So today is February 8th. I'll have to double check the page later. All right. Why not? We have our page set up, except for Maestra doesn't have her page number. So let's start answering our question today by drawing things that we know each thing needs. We're going to do a T-chart, and one side will be for plants, and the other will be for animals. Some of you might need to do this on the next page of your notebook. Just remember to write the next page number on the bottom. So I want you to draw a flower on one side to represent plants. and your favorite animal on the other side to represent animals. Which one are you going to draw? Ooh, I like that animal too. 
but my favorite is dogs. So I'm gonna put my dog label real quick and set up my T-chart. All right, now we can brainstorm. And that means come up with ideas or answers. I'm gonna start with plants. Okay, I know that plants need water, air, food, and their food just looks different from what we eat, sunlight, and a place to grow. I'm gonna add those sketches I have for those on my chart, and you can write words if you'd like. Okay, so I said plants need air, they need water, some food, and I said it was different, somewhere to live, and sunlight. Great, buenísimo. I think we could start adding animal needs onto our chart. All right, I know, based on what I need, that animals need water, air, food, and some place to live, which usually has sunlight. Let me add that to the animal side of the chart. So animals need air, huh, water, food, and some place to live. Huh. Did you notice anything interesting, Scientificos? Right? These charts are pretty much the same. These help me answer our main question, but it doesn't help me determine if a butterfly is an animal or a plant. I think I'm going to have to do some research tonight to help me figure this out. Plus, our time together is just about over. I'm excited to answer our two questions. What do plants and animals need to live? And which is gonna help us answer, are butterflies animals or plants? What do you think so far? Mm. I agree with some of you. I hope that in asking these questions about their needs, we will be able to determine whether they, that butterflies are a plant or an animal. Gracias, científicos, for learning with me today and remembering our learning by writing it into our notebooks. Enjoy learning with the rest of the show, and I can't wait to see you again tomorrow.